Hey guys, Selena Walker here, naturopath, nutritionist and herbalist living deep in nature here at Espritikoid and I'm down in my garden by my milk thistle patch and I wanted to have a chat to you about milk thistle and also explain to you how I harvest her so you can see whether you want to introduce it to your garden but also it will give you hopefully give you a bit of respect if you are working with milk thistle an amazing plant that milk thistle is. So milk thistle is a very spiky plant and I, I also call her the ow plant because I make a lot of ow sounds when I'm harvesting her. So in Wales milk thistle is also called llaith ascalch, llaith ascalch and the reason that is is because of her milky leaves. So milk thistle is a great one to recognise because you can't mistake her leaves, that milk thread going through all the veins in the leaves and the latin name for milk thistle is well let me just say something before i say the latin name if you've been following me you know latin isn't my forte and i always like to bring a bit of humor in and think of ways of remembering them so i remember milk thistle as silly bum marianum <laughs> silly bum and it kind of i think well if you've been a bit of a silly bum with your liver you need milk thistle so let's talk about how and when to harvest so you can see here there's a whole range of different milk thistles some of them are in flower some of them still have only just flowered and then we've got some like up here which are starting to bloom now what i'm trying to stop is them self-seeding i'm probably going to get a few but i don't want it to self-seed absolutely crazy so every few days in fact i was only out here friday or saturday and we're on monday now i come in out and i'm checking for the heads but in this weather it's going to be really hot here this week above 20 degrees all week going up to i think about 27 they're going to dry out pretty quickly so i think i need to be coming out here every day so all i do is i've got a mushroom crate that i line with paper or cardboard and then when they are all when the tray's full i simply stack them up in the poly tunnel so they can get really dry because sometimes i don't have chance to instantly harvest the seed because it's the seed that is the medicine so all of this I have grown for the seed, which is how I make my milk thistle tincture. The leaves are used for things such as, it's really good for the promoting of milk in breast milk, so the leaves are used for that. But mainly, if you buy in milk thistle, it will be the seeds. So you need to grow a lot to get a small amount. So I've got quite a lot here, and I'm hoping to get one litre of tincture out of it. So it mainly for my clients. So back to the harvesting. Let me just watch the amazing oregano there. It doesn't get squished. So you can see this one here is already starting to explode. So if I just cut that off. One way to check is being careful because of the thorns. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that. I'll do a close up. What you're looking for is to be able to easily pull out and the seeds are dark in colour. So let me just pop that down there. So let me show you if there's one I'm unsure of. Um, there's quite a few here that I know are definite, but that I'm going to show you if I'm unsure of. This one here. Being careful to avoid the spikes. Pulling it towards me. And then the middle bit, what I'm doing is I'm pulling. And if it comes out easily and there's seeds on the end, she's good to go. If you pull, let me show you an example of one that I definitely know isn't right. Okay, so if I was to pull here, just little tiny bits of fluff come out, hardly any, it's really hard to pull. It's not ready. So you want to pull the fluff right in the middle, avoiding the thorns. And if the seeds come out, you know they're ready. So I'm just going to go down here and harvest all the heads that are ready. And I'll see you up in the house because you have to start peeling them in that house. The slightest bit of breeze 
and the plant fairies will just flow everywhere. Okay, so we're inside now, away from the gentle breeze that is around today, but we do want to be away from any breeze because we don't want these amazing plant fairies to be bouncing around with the seed everywhere. So basically what we're looking at doing is de pulling these out and detaching the seed from the fairy. I could use technical terms, but you'll remember the word fairy better. And then all I'm doing is I'm putting them on a tray because the harvest of milk thistle is a bit of a longer harvest because they, they all dry out at different rates. I put them on a tray just to make sure they don't go mouldy and then when I've got enough for a jar I'll sort it out into a tincture and I've got loads of other videos of me making tinctures so you can see how I do that with seed because it's heavier than plant parts I don't generally fill it right up to the top with seed it will probably be about half full with seed so let me show you my technique for opening up these really spiky beans and getting the insides out. Now, you are gonna pork yourself. <laughs> She's a bit like nettle, give you a bit of a pork, but unlike nettle, nettle sting lasts. This is sharp and over with quite quickly. So what you'll notice, in fact, you might hopefully not pick it up on the camera, is there are some spikes a bit further down on the, br the branch. So you wanna avoid those. Now what I do, if you can see the middle bit hasn't got many spikes so what I do is I pull out the middle bit first if you get any of the black stuff the dried bits just put those to the side so I will just simply pull out all the middle bits first get the easy bits out just drop them and then I will start to go around the edges pulling off any of the black bits but it's much easier to get these spikes off. So over here, if I just move those out the way, so you hopefully you can see it, I'll also do a close up. I'm just going to cut off as much of the spikes as I can all the way round. Save my hands really. And this is how I've developed a technique. Now, I'm not saying this is the right way, this is just my way and I thought I would share it with you because I had no one to show me when I first started doing this. So I'm just going right the way around. There we go. You want to make sure that you don't get any on the floor because if you accidentally step on that it will be painful. And shield bugs tend to like these plants. So if you get any shield bugs, release them. And what I will do now is I'll just pull off any of the black bits. Whoop. There is one I've missed there. You heard me bounce off. Manage not to swear. <laughs> Swearing, in fact, is compulsory when you doing milk thistle harvests. So I'm just pulling the black bits off, but if I'm getting any seeds, I'm going to put those down there as well. So note that, you know, I'm not going to add all the spikes off. So I'm still being careful. And all I'm doing now is just pulling, dropping, pulling, dropping, pulling, dropping. And then on the edge, pulling, dropping. Once I've got a good stash here, I'm just going to simply separate the seed. So you can see it's a, quite a process. In fact, I'm hoping to get all the trays ready and to gather some friends and maybe have a good natter and catch up while we're doing this because it feels like it should be a community task. So why do we want to work with milk thistle? Well milk thistle in fact most people know is the medicine of the liver Milk thistle is the medicine of the liver because she can regenerate and renew the cells of the liver. In fact, some of you might know this because lots of people have taken milk thistle either just before going out 
on a bit of a drinking bender or the next day if you're hangover and it's become known as a bit of a hangover cure because when you drink an alcohol the reason you've got a hangover is because your body's toxic and your liver's getting poisoned so if you can support the liver with the milk thistle medicine that can help so milk thistle can really help if your liver's had damage through alcohol or through medication also you want to think okay well what does the liver do the liver detoxes the body and part of that detoxification process is working with hormones for instance so many people these days suffer from estrogen dominance including men and women because of how much oestrogen is just in our environment from things like the contraceptive pill, hormone replacement therapy and plastics. It is just out there and in the environment. So many people are getting oestrogen dominant and milk thistle can help the liver detoxify hormones. So it can really help to rebalance the hormones. Other, other kind of help it can give to the endocrine system is your thyroid hormones, again, go through a process in the liver. And the inactive version, really, of the thyroid, which is T4, gets kind of processed in the liver, and then the active form of T3 is kind of the outcome, that's a, without going into a lot of detail, that's, that's the easiest way of describing it. So the liver plays a massive role there. So milk thistle can be great for people suffering with thyroid issues to just help the liver process the thyroid hormones. Other things that the liver helps with is blood sugar. So if you have milk thistle, it can really help support the liver and just strengthen the liver to deal with blood sugar issues. Cholesterol is made by the liver so again if you've got cholesterol issues then that's going to be putting putting stress on the liver so anything that adds stress to the liver in fact any condition i would say is going to involve the liver then milk thistle is going to be of help in that instance other things that i would think of is like the skin because when toxins come through the body it's almost like there's a bit of a meeting in the liver and the liver drags in all the other accessory organs and detoxification organs such as the skin the kidneys the bowels all the good ways that we excrete toxins and then the liver has a meeting with them well who's going to take on this who's going to take on that so the liver is going to help with all the accessory organs so gallbladder is one of the accessory organs and the liver makes the bile so, if you've got gallstones or gallbladder issues, then milk thistle is going to help support the liver. Because if you've got gallbladder or gallstone issues, it's really a liver issue. And in fact, our, everybody's liver needs nourishing. You know, the, the way we live these days, our liver has to cope with a lot more toxicity. Stress is a toxin than our parents and our grandparents' generation. So the skin is another route of elimination and many people suffer from skin disorders and the liver is definitely part of that because if your skin isn't functioning as great as it could be because it's, it's having to push out toxins and has got things such as eczema or psoriasis going on, then that's going to put an extra pressure on the liver. So milk thistle, again, a great medicine to bring in as part of the plan. And I always say part of the plan because these herbs aren't going to be magic, as in you can just take them and you can abuse your body as much as you want. You have to meet the herb halfway. So looking at what you're drinking, eating, thinking and excreting. So the contraindications that you want to think about with milk thistle are 
if they are working in the liver and the liver metabolizes medication, then it could interfere with some medications and the metabol- metabolization, metabolization of that. I can't say that. <laughs> you know what I mean. How the, how the liver processes the medication, how quickly it works through it. So you want to check that with your healthcare practitioner. And in fact, you should be checking with your healthcare practitioner before taking any medication, if new medications, if you've got any issues going on and you're on any medications. So the liver is an amazing organ. As I've said, any disease in, disease in the body, is going, the liver is going to be helping with that. And if you've got acute or chronic liver conditions, then milk thistle is definitely one to explore. In fact, milk thistle has even been used for people that have ingested the death cat poison and it's been administered within the first 48 hours and stopped them from dying. Now, I'm not saying to try that out. I'm just reporting that has been one thing that milk thistle has successfully been used for. So it can help with poisonings, it can help with liver abuse. And as I said earlier, if you have been a silly bum with your liver, then milk thistle is your friend. So if you've enjoyed this video and you've enjoyed getting to know milk thistle, then it really helps me to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It just helps me get this information out there and to the people that need it and to spread the message of reducing our medicine miles and creating our own medicine. You can also head on over to my website, selinawalker.earth and sign up to my free newsletter where I'll send you hints and tips on how you can create a healthy body, a healthy mind and a healthy planet. I'll see you soon.